Good morning, everybody, on this lovely rainy morning here in New England. Today, I am headed off to do a back-to-back -back hand sink drain at a local company. So wish me luck, stay tuned, and I hope to see you at the end. Thanks! Good, how are you? So, you said a guy named Mike gave you our number? Yeah, I think it's, uh, you know what, it's, his name's Mike. It's either Finn Joy. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. No. So he works um, all pro plumbing. <laughs> yeah. It's That's either exactly. Mike or Mike or Mitch. There, yeah, I think it's there's like, both. It's Mike, because he was, um, he was dating my sister, so we know him personally. Okay, so, oh yeah. His, I don't remember his last name. His, name, his, name. his, his uh, cousin, Billy, owns all pro plumbing and heating. Oh, okay. So, so this, is the, this is the one side. So okay. You have sewer smell in here, huh? Yeah. Do you guys always have that smell? Mm, or is that just recent? That's recent. So okay. that's, pro that's probably related to this. It, it's possible, it. but. Alrighty, so this goes through the wall that way. Mm -hmm. So the other side's doing the same thing? Yeah. yeah. This side's also. Okay. See, it's like in, with, when one backs up, the other backs up. Okay, and what's in between? What's this? This is a maintenance sink. Is this one backed up as well? No, well, because I can run water down here. So whenever that, like there, it does become like a bad smell, usually I'll run water down this. Um, and you might want to stop because it's not in the, oh, it, the hose is in there. Yeah. Oh, scared me for a second. Okay. So typically, like if I, oh, this is real. Um, but anyways, typically if there's like a sewer smell, it'll be because this pea trap dried out. Okay. So I like run water down there. Yeah, the yeah, I make sure that you keep filling that up, yeah. definitely. And this sink, the kitchenette sink isn't uh, affected at all? Is, uh, not even at all. And the toilet's flush. So it's kind of like bizarre. It is and it isn't. It's um, it's because the, you got the smaller two pipes here before it ties into the bigger four inch. Yeah. So. Yeah, I can definitely take care of this. I'm just trying to figure, go see which one's gonna be my better access point. Do you want, do you want to like be like left alone to work? Oh no, no, no! You can. Okay. You're more than welcome. So that smell that you're getting. Yeah. It's uh, it smells like it's localized to this one because I didn't smell it in that the janitor's closet area or the other the other bathroom it could be the wax ring here okay because usually if the traps are full you're not going to get that that odor nine times out of ten it's it's a wax seal and i can remove that stuff that's oh i'm not i'll just stick it up here and we've we've like poured Drano down here. And when was the last time you poured Drano? Uh, it would have been t like a week or two ago. Okay, so nothing recent. No. Okay, perfect. Alrighty. I will probably go in through this one. Has someone sneaked this out before? Yeah. Okay, I can see the splatter marks on the back of the... Yeah, it was like a do-it-yourself thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm just trying to see the direction of flow here. And there's no closet. It's just that kitchen, that janitor's, yeah, closet. janitor's closet. Okay. So in that janitor's closet, is there a um, a stack or a pipe that you can see besides that one under the... No, there's just the... the it's like a big insulated uh, pea trap. So on the bottom of that, yeah, underneath that sink, I was um, yeah. meaning on the... There's nothing else, like, above or below. Okay, yeah, there's no... Alrighty. Yeah, I just wanted to see. It probably would have been, like, here, because both of those sinks go like this, so... Alrighty. Oh, come this way? Yeah, so if you look right in the wall, you'll see it turn this way. Oh, okay. I so. thought they That's fine. Alrighty. All right. So, so you like a wedge with the yeah, if you have one that we can prop this open with, that'd be helpful. 
Alrighty. Alrighty, I'll run out to my truck and I'll get some tools and some rags so that I can protect this area okay. and get what I need and I'll be right back. I, I honestly, it's probably just build up. Years of build up. I really, that's probably exactly what it's going to end up being. Um, how long has this building been here? Since like the second. Yeah, so. I, I, usually when they remodel, they don't actually cut the pipes out. They'll just re, kind of do a facelift, if you will. They don't actually replace the pipe. Okay. So. The only thing I ask is that if people use the bathroom, that's fine. Just don't run the hand sink oh. over there. They can flush. Yeah, just don't use the sink itself. Yeah, it's just so I don't wear the, the water from the other side. Yeah. So if this one's backing up and it backs up into that one over there, if you, if you run that water, it's just going to come right out here at me. So I'm also going to check the pop-up in this. How, how old did you say this remodel was? Um, I mean, they literally finished it in, like, 2020. Okay, so it's not that old. Which is good, but I just want to check the pop up. I'll probably check the pop up on the other side too, just to make sure there's nothing gross in that either. What's the pop up? Is that the, the, the yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> So this looks clear. And I'll call you back when I am finished what I'm doing. Great, machines in forward. In. All right, so we're here in mass, and code in mass for commercial buildings is cast iron. I mean, not cast iron, copper in commercial buildings, non-residential. So, and everything has to be hard piped. So they're not slip couplings like up in New Hampshire, which makes it usually easier. And a lot of people are gonna ask me, well, why didn't you just, why didn't you, um, cut the pipe and use a fern comb? Cause that's not how we do things. There's no reason why they put a clean out on the bottom of the trap and you can't just snake it through that. So that is what we do. We put the clean out. They put the clean outs in the bottom of the traps and we sneak it through the trap. It gets the job done and we, there's no need for us to cut the pipe. You have an access point, so there's really no need for you to cut open. I just want to get it up and through that spot right there. I'm just going to hand twist this.
make sure I don't go up the vent or the other sink. sink over there. person back to back since you kind of have to run back and forth sorry <laughs> yeah well you got your old uh, snake there that's pretty good yep i just have to make sure that i'm not coming up in that other sink and that i'm actually following the pipe all that's right all. yeah cool so So before we make a huge mess, let's uh, well, and hopefully see if I, okay, I went out really far away without feeling it goes on that other side, so.
also going to have to take this apart so that I can flip it. Which in this place is not going to be nice because the cable's a mess. Hopefully I can just take it off the thing and see if I can just flip it over. So my cable flipped in the basket, so I have to take it apart in order to unflip it. The bad part is, is that the cable is so dirty, obviously, because my job is not clean, that I don't want to do it inside. So I'm going to fight to get it out of the line so I can unflip it, but I'm going to take it outside to do it, because I don't want to do it in here. Cause yeah, please. Yeah, we want to keep yeah, it. Yeah. I don't, I don't like to make messes so. so do you feel that you're converging on finding i'll it? be able to i'll be able to get it clean it's just years of build up i mean i know that he said that the bathrooms were just remodeled not that long yeah. ago but that they don't remodel the pipes right. so they don't cut out all the existing pipe to put in new pipe so do you feel that you've run into the, the the blockages or anything it's just a bunch of build up you know you can feel that yeah you can feel the build up in the pipe um it's like i said it's just a bunch of build up from over the years so the only bad part is, is that, like I said, my cable flipped inside the line yeah. and I have to try to get it out. And in order to do that, I got to pull my cable out of the line first, take this outside. Um, I probably have about 10, 10 or 20 feet in here right now. So I'm going to, I'm going to fight with it, get it out, take the basket part outside unflip my cable, come back in, and I'll be able to finish it. get some tape or something to take this sheet down because it's ridiculous how slippery because then there are ways Pause the GoPros for a minute so I can go outside and flip this cable. I'll be back. Alright, so I did go outside. I re flipped my cable back the way that it's supposed to be. I want to run a little bit of water without my cable in there because I was a decent way out there. I was like 30 feet, 40 feet out there. 
I should be should have gone in there. I know. So I'm gonna run that hand sink a little bit. Make sure that that's gonna stay going down and then I'll tighten up the thing. Oh, I got a black line on my nose. There we go. We're gonna go and we're gonna take that nut off and we're gonna tighten it down properly. So I'll be honest with you, I think what ended up happening was as I uh, I was <clears throat> it uh I was in there all the way and I had snaked it, but I think that the drain from the other side back pitches towards this one a little bit. So I think that that's what I ended up doing to myself was I didn't think it was draining while I was running the water for that reason. So I kept going in farther and farther and farther and farther and it actually, it was clear. Yep, you can use all the water everywhere now. I was, I got it draining. <laughs> if you, if you want, you can actually take the out of order sign off the restroom now too, because everything's working. So. Clean under there. Close their cabinets. Are you ready for this? Come on, start to spin. Here it comes. There it is. Look at that gorgeous whirlpool. Alrighty, everybody. That does it for that one. So, I probably had gotten it cleared before I ended up flipping the cable, but I just wanted to make sure. So I came outside and I unflipped the cable, made sure that I was good there. And then I went back inside and I tested the drain and lo and behold, I did get it draining. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you watched all the way to the end of this video. If you liked it, check out some more links over here and I hope you catch me on the next one. Have a great day and as always, be amazing.